Welcome to Vlogger Pie, Joe Pop Putty Man here, and today I will be showing you how to properly breach hack on Cyberpunk 2077. Now, if you went through the tutorial, you'll notice it says to upload the ice pick daemon, you must recreate its code sequence by selecting characters from the code matrix. The characters that you will select will be visible in the buffer. You can see the buffer right above here on the top, and then of course the matrix is these numbers and letters here and the sequence you need is to the right here so what this means is on your top row here you can start with the letter and uh in the buffer for only two format codes particularly for this one now you um you of course this will increase later on when it comes to your codes but uh what happens if the string is incorrect you know in the beginning well simply use one path to create another path so for example um, for this code, I needed 1C, then 55. So, there's only one option of 1C here, but if you take that same path of 1C and then go to BD, you'll notice in your buffer above that you still have room for five other places to reset a longer path. So, then if you put 1C beside BD and then go up to 55, you'll still be completing the same path which was originally from 1C to 55. So even if you have to take a different path, you'll be fine. Now, later in the game, you will find multiple sets of numbers and letters. This just means you have to pick the right number of multiple paths. But either way, you can at least hack one item no matter if you get multiple or not. For example, here we have 1C to BD. But as I type these in the first hack, the first hack succeeds, the second one fails, and the third one is still available. Now, I didn't continue the path correctly, but if I continued with 5.5 five and 1c, then I would have succeeded with the third hack. Basically, you have to go in an order that will path all the hacks you want. Sometimes you may get all, but sometimes you can only get multiples if the paths correspond to each other, just like the 1c did for this one. And there you have it. All it is is a corresponding with the data mine that you want to pick in your hack and then putting it to the right one when it comes to the code right beside the data mine. Honestly, it'll take time to learn, but as long as you know that you always start from the top and work your way down and then around, you can be successful at hacking on Cyberpunk 2077. And there you have it. 
Uh, if this tutorial helped you in any way out, or if you have any other questions, please consider hitting that like and the subscribe button. I will do a follow-up video if you have any questions in the comments below. And as always, I am Putty Man with Gamer Plotheads, and do not forget, roll about the high score. Peace out, and I'll talk to y'all later.